Extreme Science. Well, here's a demo of extreme balance. Fairly simple. I have a metal wire here, and I balance it on this white stick. And then I want to balance the white stick on my finger. And let's change it, let's actually balance it on another stick. Fairly straightforward. To balance it, I need to be where the center of gravity is. So that's the key. I have to be where the center of gravity is. But I can go further. I can balance this stick now on my finger. I'm at its center of gravity. And of course, how much further can I go? Well, to demonstrate, I'm going to let Debbie take over. So I hand this to Debbie, and I'll give her the next stick. And let's just see how much further we can balance here. So each stick has to go under the center gravity of the previous one. Now you notice the sticks are bent. There's a good reason for this. Having the sticks bent makes the center gravity lower. In fact, it puts the center of gravity below the pivot point, it makes it more stable. If they weren't bent, you could still do it, but it'd be much, much more difficult. And I've tried it. You can get so far, and then anything at all sets it off. But we can see with the center of gravity low, and Debbie being very, very careful, she can just keep adding and adding. Sticks. Of course, another issue would be each stick is heavier than the first ones. So she adds, the whole thing gets heavier and heavier, so there is a limit there. And I think that's about the limit for her. Now I'm going to bring a uh, stand for the whole thing. Let me get it in here. Woo! Debbie's much more careful than I am, that's why uh, she's doing it. So now the whole thing is balanced. Now, the question is, what will happen if we take that last one off? She's gonna take the very first metal, little piece of metal we put in the very first one, and let's see what happens. So it has to be perfectly balanced. Even the slightest change in the weights of any of the sticks, you can't do it. So this is a great example of extreme balance.